Hi, I hope you all had a wonderful week. Thank you for joining me and spending some of your Sunday afternoon with me. I'm your personal Brussel angel, the African Barbie, Chica, the voice of a survivor, the face. Welcome to my vlog. Um, last week, I had mentioned that we're going to start our series on uh, risk factors. So risk factors, that's what are your chances of getting breast cancer, right? So this week, we're going to do the age. We're going to deal with uh, the gender and the genes. So gender, are you female? Yes, yes, yes. Well, unfortunately for us females, our risk of getting breast cancer is much higher than the men. Men are a little bit more luckier. Their risks, women have about 200, um, are more likely to get cancer 200 times more than the men. So while women are one in eight, men, their chances are so little. I mean, men do have breast cancer, don't get me wrong, but their ch chances of getting cancer are much smaller than women. Um, annually, there might be about 2,000 men getting breast cancer, while for women, there are about 190,000 cases or so annually of breast cancer. So you're thinking, oh my goodness, why am I female? I mean, it's wonderful. We're female. We get to wear hair and nails. We get to be moms and wives and all these wonderful things. You know, did I forget the B word boobs? We get to have boobs. All right, y'all, let me tell you a quick joke. I went into this store uh, the other day, uh, breast cancer um, store, and they, there was this t-shirt that said, yes, they're fake. The real ones tried to kill me. I thought it was so funny. I mean, it's an inside joke for survivors because people keep telling me, Chica, but, you know, you said you cut off your breast, so what's going on? I have implants, yes. The real ones tried to kill me. These ones are fake and they're mine, so I paid for them. Anyway, moving forward. Um, the next, uh, well, I wanted to tell you guys, please help your wives, your friends, encourage them to do their mammograms, encourage them to do their uh, monthly breast exams. Uh, a friend of mine told me a story that got my attention. It was a woman's husband that discovered the lumps in her breast. And when she went to her doctor, got checked out, it turned out to be cancer. So he paid two thumbs up to that husband that did that, that is just excellent. But women be responsible, be familiar with your breast. Nobody knows your breast like you. So do those exams, but husbands, friends, brothers, encourage your your partners, your, your wives, let them do those mammograms uh, uh, yearly and also get their exams monthly. And usually those uh, breast exams are done a week after your period because during your period, you're tender, you might be lumpy, but after your period, you're able to get better results. Then um, apart from gender, the next factor is age. Yes, the older you get, the higher your risk for breast cancer. I know. And I just wanted to applaud all the older women out there. I mean, women are looking so much better in their 40s and 50s and 60s and 70s. The, the older you are, so 55 and older, your chances of getting breast cancer is higher. You know, two out of three of the breast cancers you get at that age are more invasive. Unlike my age, I was diagnosed at 36. I had said that before. And um, I'm part of the 10 to 15 percent of women who are diagnosed less than 45. So that's why I keep preaching. Make sure you get all these things done because 15 percent is a lot. And I was another 15 percent. But to the older women, you know, the older you get, the more responsibilities you have to keep up. I mean, it's nice to look beautiful. Women are aging so beautifully. And I applaud all of you. Two thumbs up but please make sure you keep up with those appointments because your risk factors for breast, your, your chances of breast cancer increases with age. Then um, I wanted to do another one, inherited genes. Yes, that's the third one. And there's some genes that are known for breast cancer, BRCA1 and BRCA2. When I was diagnosed with breast cancer, after I had the bilateral mastectomy, I decided to do the genetic testing. And it showed me that my BRCA1 and BRCA2 were negative because if it was positive, I was going to go ahead and do a hysterectomy because then my risk for ovarian cancer increases. And if you remember, um, 
what was her name? Angelina Jolie, 20, 2013, no, 2003. Angelina Jolie found out she had the BRCA gene and she went ahead and she was proactive and she encouraged all these women around the world. She had the ballerina mastectomy because she had inherited genes for breast cancer. So, go girl, that, I mean, that was awesome. So you might want to find out if there is, you know, if you have those inherited genes or mutations that carry breast cancer, then your risk increases. Oh, well, y'all, um, I don't want to take too much of your time. It's supposed to be a short, quick go-to videos. Have a wonderful week and um, I'm excited and hold on for more information. For those of you that like to get more information, just stay tuned and I'll see you next week. I love you. God bless you. Keep sending me those messages. Love you, uh, your personal Brussels angel. Bye-bye.